I've been working on the Apex barrel design since 2011. We started looking at the accuracy issue after we had several complaints that individual customers' guns were not grouping consistently. There seemed to be a broad range of complaints from string, strings vertical, strings horizontal, wide patterns of groups, um, using factory ammo and a variety of different types of ammo and bullet weights. As we looked at the data, as well as shooting the guns out of a ransom rest, we started to see some pretty broad, uh, inconsistent patterns. And we tried varieties of different ammos, and yet the results were still less than what I would consider acceptable. Over the years, aftermarket barrels, semi or drop-in barrels have been introduced into the marketplace, but we found there were very marginal gains in improvement. After four years of chasing accuracy, it wasn't until we'd scanned over 10,000 individual frames of, of high-speed photography that we sort of got a clue. The high-speed photography showed us in one single frame that there's what they call the modulus of elasticity, and that's true for all steels. In essence, the slide was acting like a rubber band, and when it did that, it was stretching to the point where it wasn't applying a consistent tension or forward pressure on the barrel. And that's what was causing the barrel to become destabilized. And this is what they called early unlocking um, on various forums and all along the internet. What I was looking to do was to increase the stability of the system. And the only way to do that was to change the geometry so that we improved the dwell time and therefore the tension on the barrel throughout the firing cycle. With our latest barrel design, we've been able to achieve accuracy that is far beyond what was expected or anticipated. The accuracy we've been able to obtain out of a ransom rest for five shot groups at 25 yards with 115, 124, and 147 grain ammunition, all factory commercial ammunition, has been sub one inch. We needed to use a ransom rest to remove the human element. Um, that has been one of the most consistent problems with obtaining accuracy with the polymer frame guns. So by using a ransom rest and using fixtures of our own to improve the operation, we've been able to completely remove that so that we're only dealing with the mechanical accuracy of the pistol. What this means for the, the end user or the customer is that you should be able to achieve the accuracy uh, that's only limited by, by you, the human, the human aspect. The accuracy that you're able to obtain is really dependent on your own individual skill level. Out of a ransom rest, we've been able to achieve sub one inch and almost half inch groups at 25 yards. But that's not practical accuracy. The practical accuracy of a user, a shooter, using our firearm should be about an inch and a half at 25 yards. Ammo selection is always important, but we found with the different bullet weights and the different manufacturers of ammo, our barrels will shoot consistently. The beauty of our design is that it stabilizes and increases the dwell time so that you're not seeing the, the bullet impact or the point of impact, point of aim drifts as you switch from bullet weight to bullet weight. We wanted to compare the, the function of, or the mechanical lockup of the apex grade barrel versus a factory barrel. And the way we did that was rather unique. We used a ransom rest and a bore sighting laser to be able to see what happens if you just incrementally pull the slide back slightly. We found that with our test fixture, the factory barrel would destabilize if the slide was only moved back maybe five thousandths or less. Five thousandths is less than the thickness of a human hair. The apex barrel we designed to shift everything forward so that the dwell time was increased probably over a factor of a hundred. So the, we literally ran out of range on our dial indicator when the barrel began to unlock. So literally it's almost a hundred thousandths of an inch. And that's the hundred thousandths is, is basically a tenth of an inch. By increasing the dwell time and having the barrel mechanically stabilized within the slide and the frame, it's done a couple of things. The one thing that the most critical aspect is that it maintains the orientation of that barrel relative to the slide and therefore the sights for a longer period of time while the bullet has a chance to exit the barrel before any type of mechanical upset occurs. There's a difference between what you consider traditionally of um, early unlocking. When we talk about early unlocking, we're talking about there's some change in force on that barrel. And in the factory barrels, 
and some of the drop-in barrels that are available, that same slight motion of five thousandths of an inch was still able to destabilize the barrel, and we could see that as a drift in the laser. What that means, if the early unlocking or destabilization of the barrel, that means that you're dependent on the individual cartridge that's being fired to maintain some semblance of, of stability. And the problem is that when you fire successive shots, they don't all have the same pressure curves, they don't have all the same velocities. So you can't expect the bullet to always go in the same position or same place on the target if the barrel is floating in multiple axes. I focused on stabilizing the barrel through the entire process of firing so that it, all the forces that are acting on the barrel are mechanically fixed and are not dependent on the cartridge. And this is why we can obtain sub one inch groups at 25 yards. Our approach for chasing accuracy has been a little bit different. From, from our adverse observations, the whole issue of barrel destabilization, the industry, the, the internet's had all sorts of wild speculation, but it was literally like a bunch of blind people trying to describe an elephant. The problem was that nobody saw everything in a global way. How the harmonics within the frames affect things, how the slide stretching affects things, how the, the barrel at the muzzle, the tolerances on that barrel at the front end and the back end uh, affect the functioning and consistent functioning. Once we were able to get the big picture of what was going on, instead of piecing together small parts to try to make it fit, we literally designed the barrel to operate in the particular system, in the pistol. Literally, what this means is that a polymer frame gun is capable of shooting toe-to-toe -to -toe with some very top-end custom 1911 builders out there today and can compete toe-to-toe -to -toe in NRA Bullseye, Bianchi, um, anything where the accuracy is required. We have several beta testers that have been running our barrels in IDPA, USPSA, and PPC competition and we won several national and international titles. We have some law enforcement using or beta testing our barrels and one who was so impressed with the accuracy and has logged in 5,000 rounds across the gun without any issues whatsoever. Um, he was so impressed that he bought a second and then third gun in the hopes that he could have barrels fit. We're calling our barrels apex grade barrels because one, the idea of match grade doesn't really define what went into the gun, what went into this barrel design. The Apex barrel, the geometry is unique. There is no other barrel with these particular characteristics, properties, or dimensions. And it is because of that that we're able to obtain uh, very consistent results, accuracy that would be considered unheard of even in some of the semi-custom pistols that are manufactured today. The accuracy that we've been able to obtain with the Apex grade barrel is on par with any of the custom 1911 builds out there. And this is unheard of in a polymer frame striker fired pistol. What's available from Apex are two different types of barrels. One is the semi drop-in fit barrel. And the reason we call it semi drop-in is because it's designed for the end user with, with the ability to use simply a file to be able to fit the barrel to their individual slide and frame within a half an hour. And that will provide consistent accuracy, handheld accuracy of an inch and a half or better at 25 yards. And that's dependent on you as the shooter's skill level. The other barrel that we have is the gunsmith fit barrel. And that's for the individual that wants to make sure that all the tolerances that happen from gun to gun are taken into account so that the barrel can be fit precisely to the individual gun to yield the maximum performance. The gunsmith fit barrels, you should be able to obtain an inch or better at 25 yards. Currently, the Apex barrels will be available in the nine millimeter, both the four and a quarter inch and the five inch variants. 